Hive denies dating rumors, K-drama about BTS's life to come out this month causing controversies, J-Hope covered the costs for his listening party, and Jin being the sellout king. Several BTS members, including V, J-Hope, and Jin, have made it evident through their social media shares that their dedication to fitness has sculpted their bodies more robustly and prominently. Among these members, RM has recently highlighted his fitness journey on Instagram, reviving a tradition of sharing his exercise routines and motivational workouts with followers. In his latest share, RM captivates the army with a video where he, alongside others, possibly staff, engages in a challenging plank session. The backdrop to their exercise is the tune, Attention, by New Jeans, enhancing the ambiance with its rhythm. Accompanying this visual, RM captions it with a reflective note on life's challenges and the essence of perseverance, encouraging viewers to withstand life's trials with resilience. Throughout the video, RM humorously interacts with his companions as they navigate the difficulty of maintaining their plank positions. One dialogue exchange captures a staff member inquiring about the consequences of failing to hold their position, to which RM responds with a philosophical musing on life's inherent challenges, humorously adjusting the duration they must hold the plank as they converse about time's slow passage during such enduring moments. As the countdown nears its end, they conclude the session successfully. Despite playful complaints about the sluggish flow of time, highlighted by RM's final countdown from four seconds, Observers have speculated on identifying RM, suggesting he may be the shirtless figure at the center, while noting the Hype Gym shirts worn by others, hinting at the video's potential timeline or the leisurely context in which it was filmed. This blend of camaraderie, humor, and dedication, showcased by RM and his team not only entertains, but also inspires their audience, reflecting on the broader message of facing and overcoming life's obstacles with a strong will and a supportive community. The music video for Neuron by BTS J-Hope intricately narrates the essence of human connection through its portrayal of individuals navigating their separate paths, yet interlinking through fleeting, meaningful encounters. This narrative seamlessly mirrors the life experiences of another BTS member, Suga, prompting fans to draw parallels between the two. In Neuron, a poignant scene showcases a young delivery boy cycling through the city with his cooler embodying the day-to-day -day hustle of food delivery personnel. This visual strikingly resonates with the real-life background of Suga and the story narrated in his music video for Amygdala, where he too is depicted delivering orders by bike. Suga's journey before joining BTS included a stint as a delivery boy, a chapter of his life revisited in the Amygdala music video. His career, however, took a challenging turn following a delivery-related accident. This incident not only inflicted physical pain, resulting in shoulder surgery in 2020, but also became a source of prolonged emotional distress due to its timing with other distressing experiences in his life. Adding depth to the narrative in Neuron, a subsequent scene reveals the delivery boy in a moment of vulnerability, depicted by an empty bike with its wheels still spinning and a discarded helmet, hinting at a recent accident. This moment serves as a poignant reminder of the precarious nature of such jobs and the unexpected events that can profoundly affect individuals' lives. The thematic congruence between Neuron and Suga's experiences, highlighted by the fans, underscores the broader message of the music video, the significant impact of life's minor, often overlooked moments. This connection not only deepens fans' appreciation of the video's artistic depth, but also reinforces the bond between BTS members and their audience, illuminating the shared human experiences that unite us all. The documentary series Hope on the Street offers an intimate glimpse into J-Hope's journey within the realm of street dance. This BTS member embarks on a global adventure, engaging with renowned dancers and delving into the significance of dance in his past and present life. In the second episode, J-Hope delves into the theme encapsulated by the phrase, I wonder, which coincides with the title of the second track on his special album, Hope on the Street Volume 1. Throughout this episode, he, along with other dancers, ponder their current passion for dance and speculate on its future role in their lives, whether it will evolve or remain a constant. A significant moment in the episode is J-Hope's reunion with Jungkook, who contributes to the track. Their camaraderie is evident through their warm greeting, consisting of a high five and a hug upon meeting in the recording studio. The work process unfolds with J-Hope collaborating closely with a sound engineer to share his vision of the song with Jungkook. Jungkook then steps into the recording booth, 
where he delivers remarkable vocals, while J-Hope provides feedback and suggestions, enhancing the song's vibrancy through this synergistic partnership. Throughout the recording, J-Hope is seen enjoying the music, embodying the joy and connection they both feel towards their creative process. This collaboration underscores the dynamic rapport they have maintained over the years, culminating in the creation of an exhilarating track. I Wonder stands as a testament to their collaborative spirit and shared dedication to their craft, highlighting the profound bond and artistic synergy between J-Hope and Jungkook. On the last day of March 2024, the BTS community was abuzz with the news of Jimin's latest philanthropic effort, a scholarship initiative at Dongoi Institute of Technology's Department of Physical Education in Busan. The announcement came via a social media share from a user, which highlighted a post by Professor Kwan Kwan Jong on the university's official platform. Jimin is no stranger to supporting educational endeavors. His history of generosity includes substantial donations to his former school, the Busan Arts High School, totaling approximately $118,000, with individual contributions reaching around $22,200. This series of benevolent actions has deeply touched his fans, prompting an outpouring of admiration for his continuous efforts to assist South Korean students. The BTS star has been celebrated for his golden-hearted generosity, receiving high praise across social media platforms. Professor Kwan Kwan Jong conveyed his heartfelt thanks for Jimin's contribution to the university's Department of Physical Therapy, acknowledging the connection facilitated by Professor Taisik Lee and Jimin's father that led to this donation. He emphasized the scholarship's role in nurturing much-needed talent within society and fostering a culture of giving among students. The scholarship has already benefited a second-year student in 2024 and promises to extend its support in the future. Jimin's motivation stems from a desire to aid students in Busan who are often hindered by family circumstances, making it challenging for them to focus on their studies. With additional support from other benefactors, the initiative has amassed a total of approximately $143,000, awarding 10 students to date. The singer's philanthropy extends beyond this recent contribution. His generosity has supported a variety of causes, including uniform expenses at Hidong Elementary School the provision of 1,200 new desks to Busan Arts High School, and substantial donations to educational and children's welfare organizations across South Korea, totaling millions of Korean won. These contributions reflect Jimin's deep commitment to improving educational and living conditions for children and young people, showcasing his broad and impactful approach to philanthropy. The 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards heralded a new era, spotlighting a broader array of international talents, with K-pop sensation BTS at the forefront, securing several prestigious awards. This celebration, held at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles on April 1st, underscored BTS's pivotal role in propagating the Hallyu wave globally, marking them as distinguished ambassadors of their culture. Their achievements were highlighted by the introduction of novel award categories, in which they emerged victorious, amassing a collection of accolades. Since 2018, BTS has consistently won the Best Fan Army Award, demonstrating their unwavering global fan base's dedication. Their dominance extended into new categories this year, earning them accolades for favorite on-screen and favorite debut album, among others. The journey of BTS's accolades at the iHeartRadio Music Awards dates back to their first win in the Best Fan Army category in 2018, setting a precedent for their subsequent success in various awards, including Best Music Video. This streak continued with wins for their songs Boy With Love, featuring Halsey, in 2020, Dynamite in 2021, Butter in 2022, and Yet To Come in 2023, solidifying their influence in the music industry. 2024 marked a notable milestone with Jungkook, branching out as a solo artist, clinching the best music video for Seven from his debut solo album, Golden. This victory not only made him the first Asian musician to win in this category, but also inaugurated the K-Pop Artist of the Year category, where he triumphed over prominent acts like NCT Dream, Seventeen, and Stray Kids. In another groundbreaking moment, J-Hope earned the inaugural Favorite On Screen Award for his documentary, J-Hope in the Box, which delves into the production of his solo debut album, Jack in the Box. He was recognized among a diverse group of nominees, including iconic figures and contemporary artists across various music genres. V, another BTS member, took home the favorite debut album award for his solo project, Layover, 
which ventured into a jazz-inspired sound, diverging from BTS's traditional music style. This award saw him overcoming stiff competition, including his bandmate Jungkook and several Western artists, marking a historic win in this newly introduced category. This series of achievements not only celebrates BTS's and its members' artistic versatility, but also signifies their monumental impact on the global music landscape. The internet recently buzzed with news about BTS's Jin and his association with the noodle brand Otogi, which for the third year running, was recognized as one of Korea's representative brands, since Jin took on the role of brand ambassador. This accolade was part of the sixth edition of the 2024 Korea Representative Brand Awards, announced by the Brand Stars Selection Committee on March 27, celebrating top-tier brands across different sectors in Korea. Otogi, a leader in the Korean food industry, has enjoyed the spotlight alongside Jin serendipitously aligns with the brand's Jin Ramen product. This happy coincidence has only strengthened the partnership between the idol and the brand, adding a unique personal touch to their collaboration. Remarkably, BTS, the group to which Jin belongs, also secured a spot on the list, marking it as the sole K-pop entity to be recognized by the Brand Stars Selection Committee for six straight years in the entertainment sector. Otogi's commendation as a Korea representative brand is significantly attributed to Jin's endorsement, his influential presence has notably contributed to boosting the brand's profile and driving its sales upward. The impact of this partnership was vividly highlighted on social media following the announcement, with fans rallying behind the hashtag #BestBrandAmbassador Jin to celebrate Jin's influential role. Jin, known as much for his musical talents as for his compelling visuals and amiable nature, has helped catapult Otogi's Jin Ramen to the top of the brand's sales charts. His effectiveness as a brand ambassador was further demonstrated by his winning the silver medal at the 2023 Korea Digital Advertising Awards for the Otogi Jin Ramen Sincerity Campaign. This campaign, celebrated for its innovative marketing strategies, was honored at the KDIA ceremony, underscoring Jin's invaluable impact as the face of Otogi. Despite his ongoing military service, which necessitates a hiatus from active endorsements, Jin's legacy with Otogi continues to thrive. The enduring success of Jin Ramen and the brand's overall performance, with sales exceeding 3 trillion won, is a testament to the enduring power of his endorsement and the lasting impression he has made as Otogi's ambassador. On March 29, 2024, BTS's J-Hope unveiled his second solo album, Hope on the Street Volume 1, to the world through a digital release. This album, comprising six tracks, serves as the original soundtrack for his second documentary series titled Hope on the Street. The documentary, limited to six episodes, captures J-Hope's journey through several global cities including Seoul, Osaka, and New York, among others. To celebrate the album's worldwide launch, Big Hit Music, operating under the umbrella of Hybe Labels, organized a special listening party on Station Head, coinciding with another gathering in the United States dedicated to J-Hope's fans. It was revealed by a user on X that the South Korean artist generously covered the expenses for the U.S. event, ensuring attendees could enjoy the celebration without any cost. Additionally, attendees at the Hope on the Street Volume 1 Inch listening party in the United States were treated to complimentary non-alcoholic drinks. The selection included creatively named cocktails after the album's tracks, such as On the Street, a blend of pineapple ginger mule with edible gold glitter, and I Wonder a mix of ceremonial matcha, yuzu, and lemon. Other options were Lock Unlock, combining jujube fruit with omija cha shot, and Neuron, a refreshing mix of green plum, lychee, and green tea spritz. These themed beverages, as shared by another ex-user, highlighted the thoughtful touch J-Hope provided, extending his generosity to include both drinks and food, despite his ongoing military service since April 2023. Meanwhile, back in Seoul, Big Hit Music set up a pop-up store for Hope on the Street, where fans could immerse themselves further in J-Hope's world. The artist shared his excitement and appreciation for the fans' support through his Instagram stories, showcasing the pop-up store on March 31, 2024. Hope on the Street Volume 1 Inch is not just an album, but a soundtrack that accompanies J-Hope's latest documentary project, offering a deeper insight into his evolution as an artist. Unlike his previous film, J-Hope in the Box, this series provides a narrative of J-Hope's roots in street dance, 
highlighting his initial affiliation with the dance group Neuron Crew. The album and the docu-series explore J-Hope's personal and artistic growth, from his early days with his first dance group, through his auditions for Big Hit Entertainment, and his rise as a rapper within the global phenomenon that is BTS. With two episodes already released, the docu-series Hope on the Street follows J-Hope's exploration of his dance heritage, featuring interactions with dancers and performances in various locations, thereby painting a vivid picture of his journey from a dance enthusiast in Guangzhou to a celebrated global superstar. In light of speculations hinting at a romantic link between Le Seraphim's Kazuha and a male idol, her management, Source Music, has publicly refuted such claims. The rumors gained traction following a report by a Japanese weekly magazine, suggesting Kazuha had a romantic connection with K, a member of the HYBE-affiliated Japanese group and team. The publication insinuated that their relationship evolved from friendship to romance in the summer of 2022, after approximately a year of knowing each other. Contrarily, Source Music clarified that Kazuha and K's interactions, including shared meals, were purely platonic. The narrative further complicated with the magazine's portrayal of Kazuha's supposed relationship with another idol, described as being six years her senior. It detailed their visit to a luxurious restaurant in Tokyo, although the lack of photographic evidence and Kazuha's recent move to Korea in 2022 for her training cast doubts on the validity of these allegations. Amidst these rumors, Le Seraphim has been making waves in the music scene with their third mini-album, Easy, released in February 2024. The album, enriched with a diverse range of five songs, illustrates the group's versatile musical direction. The eagerly anticipated drama, Youth, a collaborative endeavor by Hybe Labels, Chorokbaum Media, and Finger Labs, is set to make its debut on the exclusive platform in April. Drawing inspiration from BTS's The Most Beautiful Moment in Life series, the drama chronicles the developmental journey of seven teenagers. The production, which commenced in October 2020 and concluded in October 2021, spans 12 episodes, segmented into three distinct parts. The series will be launched on Exclusive, a pioneering platform developed by Finger Labs, marking a significant move in digital content distribution by leveraging Web 3.0 technology. April will witness a pre-sale event allowing viewers to purchase access to the entire series, followed by the option to buy individual episodes starting in May. This announcement has reignited conversations among the BTS fan community, especially considering the initial reactions when the project was first publicized around 2019. Many fans, known as the ARMY, expressed their concerns about actors other than the BTS members portraying the group. The subsequent silence around the project led some to believe it had been abandoned. However, with HYBE's confirmation of the drama's completion and the announcement of the viewing fees, discussions have been rekindled. One fan expressed their dismay over the decision to proceed with the drama, citing the significant disagreement within the army about the casting choices and the cost implications. They highlighted the role of Mr. Bang, Hybe's chairman, in approving the project and the company's strategic direction, including BTS's stake in Hybe. Despite their love for BTS, the individual stated a refusal to support the drama on exclusive, preferring to wait for its availability on other platforms. They also mentioned utilizing the Hi TV app, which offers various BTS content for free, as an alternative to spending on the new drama, emphasizing a more cautious approach to fandom spending in anticipation of future BTS concerts post-2025.